Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, and I'm so excited. I have a really good fragrance haul and video for you. Oh. This video is in collaboration with Walmart. So I ordered some of the Dossier fragrances along with some other fragrances that I wanted to try from Walmart. But what I really want to focus on is these, the Dossier, because this is a brand that does inspired fragrances, but they do them just top notch. Great quality, and many of these I liked better than the Inspiration fragrance. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to go through the ones that I ordered. I picked out six. I picked out some that I already have so that I could truly test these for you guys. And then I bought some that are inspired by high-end fragrances that I have wanted to, I've been really curious about and I've wanted to try, but I didn't want to blind buy something that was two, three hundred dollars and then really not like it. And I really learned a lot when I did this. I've been doing this probably since this, this weekend. So I guess for the past week, and I really did just, I, the whole experience with fragrances, I have just learned so much. And as I continue to do these fragrance videos, I will share that with me. So let's get started with the first one, and it is from Dossier. And you can see they're just really nice, heavy bottles with a magnetic cap really so impressed. These came, I ordered from Walmart, but the Dossier fragrances came all together, and that each one, I only saved one box just to show you, but each fragrance comes in the box. So it says, Iconic Scents, Designer Quality, No Markups. And I, okay, so with each box, you get your scent, you get the notes, like this is Aquatic Coconut. Top notes, bergamot, pink pepper, lemon, aquatic accord, middle notes, ylang ylang, heliotrope flower, coconut, base notes, musk, cedarwood, benzoin, and tonka bean. Inspired by Mason Margiela, Replica Beach Walk, EDT. The concentration on this is 18%. Okay, let's just, I'm so excited I have, I'm having a hard time. So what I did is I have Replica Beach Walk. So I ordered this, this is one of the ones that I tested so that I could tell you how alike they smelled and which one wore better. Now this one was, there's some of them that I really learned a lot. This one was one that was just so close. It was so close that I don't even know if I can say which one did better. So I'm gonna do my little tester strips here, do one. And each one I did, each day, I would leave the tester strip out and then go back to it to see if they even lasted longer on the tester strip. So, and then this is Beach Walk. I missed, missed it the first time. Okay. These are so good. Oh, you know, this is one of my favorite scents in the world. Like this one. This one, the Dossier, really has more. It smells better. It has more body to it. It has more, uh, more depth to it, but it still has that same salt note. It just seems stronger, but in the best way. Like you actually smell all of the notes in the one from Dossier. Let me smell them again. Yes, whatever is the, let's see what the floral note, ylang ylang, heliotrope flower, and coconut. And this is something I've learned too. The top notes, you know, are what you immediately smell when you spray a fragrance, but those top notes may only last minutes. What you really want to like are the middle notes and the base notes because that's what you're gonna get most of the time. So the middle notes here are ylang ylang, heliotrope flower, and coconut. And see, 
I mean, there's just no, no contest. I mean, look at this. There is absolutely no, I mean, unless you just like the look of this bottle, but this bottle is no better than this bottle. So just so impressive. So let's go a different direction. Let's go to this one, which was my biggest epiphany, let down the most, I don't know, um, shocking, impressive of the whole bunch to me. And that is the floral grapefruit from Dossier. This has notes, grapefruit, pear, black currant, that's your top notes. Middle notes are hyacinth, jasmine, and lilac. Base notes are orris, musk, and amberwood. This is inspired by Chanel Eau Tendre EDP, Eau de Parfum. I have that. I just bought it. One of the reasons I bought it is because with wanting to do perfume reviews, I wanted to get one of the most suited Chanel fragrances for me for, to wear in the summertime because that's what I'm focusing on right now. My climate, which is humid and hot. My lifestyle, which is I'm going to be wearing more fragrances during the day. You know what I mean. Suited for me. And it seemed to be this one, which is the Chance Eau Tendre EDP. So I got this just to see how close they were. You know what I discovered? I don't like either one. This drove me crazy. After I sprayed these, because what I do first is spray the cards, and then I sprayed each of my arms twice, and then wore them all day. This is the first fragrance that John has commented on in a negative way. He came upstairs to do something because I'm, I have all my fragrances upstairs, not all of them, but most of them, especially the new ones. And I've, it's really been great because I've been able to apply my fragrances up here and then go on about my day. And that way it doesn't get on his nerves because he is kind of sensitive to some fragrances and that has worked out so good but that day he came upstairs and he said now that one i can smell and he had i said i know i hate it i mean i hate to even spray it right now i hate it so much it is i mean what what are the i'm starting to think i don't like grapefruit that much that's what i'm starting to figure out so grapefruit pear and black currant middle note hyacinth jasmine and lilac all of these scents are just sharper. So I will say, to me, these smelled just alike and I hated them equally. <laughs> but that is so good because think if I'd have ordered this before I paid for this, I would have saved that money. So, I mean, I know that this is a fragrance journey for me. Um, you know, getting into it a lot more than I ever have and I've really enjoyed it. So I know there are going to be fragrances that I purchase that I may not end up liking. And just like in life, you just look at the notes and figure out what you didn't like about it and try not to do it again. And that's what I'm gonna do. So that is the Chanel Eau Tendre. And I will say, if you like it, you will love this one. So let's go back to another good one. And I just had someone ask me about the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I have had this a long time. It is my just favorite. Just me, me, me scent. It is a solar floral fragrance that reminds you of the beach. Just so happens, I had also just purchased the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. So this is a little bit lighter and a little bit different. And I also purchased, just to see how close this was, the Powdery Coconut. Okay, that is something else I would have never in a million years thought to tell anyone that I liked was a powdery fragrance. What do you think of? I think of like baby powder or heavy or thick, but it's not. Powdery in fragrances almost means smooth. It doesn't mean they used powder. It means they used notes that can be considered powdery, like certain flowers. And to me, it just provides kind of like a comforting, rounded, smooth fragrance. And that is what this is in the best beachy way. So this one I was the most excited about and I enjoyed probably the most, you know, wearing. And I just all day, I sprayed this one, the Dossier. I sprayed this on my arm. I sprayed the real, the Parfum Soleil Blanc on my arm. And then I sprayed the 
eau de soleil on my hand. And oh my gosh, my room smelled so good. It was just wonderful. Okay, so let me tell you what this has in it. Top notes, cardamom, pistachio, bergamot. Middle notes, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine. Base notes, cedar wood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. The concentration on this is 18%. Okay, so I loved this so much, but what I will say is each one of these had a different take on that same vibe. Even, of course, these two were different to this one. If I had to say my favorite as far as the actual scent, it would be this one, the Eau de Soleil Blanc. But all of them lasted the longest. This certainly lasted just as long as those two. So let me do this one. I don't want to like spray every single one because this is something I didn't realize. I had experienced it, but I didn't know that it was a real thing. After you smell so many scents at one time, you can't smell anymore. It's almost like it just closes down, even if you have coffee. You know how they use the coffee beans? So that's why I didn't want to spray that one I didn't like, that Chanel one. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, this is, I think this is a fresher take on the Soleil Blanc. I really smell the pistachio and then it, I get the floral. I really am not getting a lot of the coconut or the base notes in the beginning, but I do know when it dried down, it did not just smell like amber or cedar wood. It still had some of the, you know, beachy, vibey scent to it. I loved it. I enjoyed wearing this all day. And I will probably keep all three of these because they all three smell different to me. And I'm experimenting with layering scents. I've never really done that too much, but I may, you know, I may find that one is better than the other. And then if I find that I'm not using them all, I will just share. Okay, so this one is called Fruity Oak Moss. This is inspired by a fragrance that I was very curious about. The Creed Aventus for her Eau de Parfum. And I've just, I've read the notes. It's just, you can't help it, but when people just, oh, this is my favorite, I love it, it's perfect for summer. It just has great projection, it lasts so long. It just, you know, like, I wanna try it, I wanna try it. But I knew, even looking at the bottle, I was like, mm, that just doesn't look like me. So I ordered this just to see how I felt about even an inspired scent. And I'm glad I did because I do not think this is for me. I do think it is beautiful. The notes are green apple, bergamot, lemon. The middle notes, peach, which I love peach in fragrances, rose, and ylang ylang. The base notes are musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. This, I could, I could still, like I could order it and I would probably wear it, but it's expensive if you were to order the real thing. Oh gosh. It's just, it is good. It is good. So many of you would like this. It just has a, like a zing to it. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm learning is I'm, when people say, oh, it has a, it has a punch, it has a zing, it has a zest. You know, all those words, I'm learning that that's probably not for me, unless it is short-lived, you know what I mean? But I think this one is going to be, it really, it smells, and I, I think it, well, it's, I think it's for her. It smells unisex to me. Now, what I will say is, I'm going to keep this. I'm not gonna buy the Adventist for her, but I'm going to keep this because I may like this in the fall and winter because I seem to like those more boyfriend inspired scents more in the cold weather. So I'm going to keep that. But now it's kind of like that I have that off my mind. I don't think that I still want to order that anymore. So that was the Fruity Oak Moss. Let's see. I've got two more. I'll try to hurry up. This is the Ambery Vetiver. This is inspired by Byredo Bal de Freak Eau de Parfum. This is another one that I hear just some of the perfume reviewers 
and people that I've heard talk about this and one of my friends on Instagram and here on YouTube, she has this and loves it. Instead of just ordering it right away, which would have been hundreds of dollars, I ordered this. So top notes, bergamot, lemon, and buchu. Don't know what that is, I'll need to look it up. Orange blossom, marigold, violet, vetiver, amber, and cedarwood. And I'll tell you, I was straight up gonna order the Balda Freak from Byredo, but I heard one girl say, do I like this smell? Yes. Do I want to smell like it? No. And so that kind of made me think about it. So I was so happy that they had this on their little list of things. So the last one I feel good about. So if I don't get to smell the last one, it's no big deal. I want to smell this one again. This one was a happy surprise. Oh my goodness. I love it. It is, it is a deeper scent for me, especially for summertime, but it's not zingy, it's not heavy, it's not, let's see, what am I smelling? I definitely smell the lemon, the orange blossom. Okay, it's the violet, it's the violet. You know how violet sometimes gives that kind of, I like it, it's a smooth powdery, Kind of a funky scent and it can almost give a makeup-y type scent like even it does it does smell it almost smells like a high-end makeup base notes vetiver amber and cedarwood so a woody base see i have learned too i like a good base to me a fragrance i was trying to think of how i could describe it it's kind of like a piece of lemon meringue pie my mom used to make that all the time and she would make the meringue homemade and everything it was beautiful. I need a crust and I need a good filling and I like a nice top on my pie. So the first taste you get is that meringue, which is gonna be fluffy and good, but it's not the heart of your pie. But I still, I don't want all of that taste without a good grounding like the crust. And kind of like with a, a key lime pie. What would a key lime pie be without the graham cracker crust? So that's kind of how I feel about a fragrance. So I'm kind of flexible on those top notes because it's kind of like if you don't like the topping on a pie, you know how you can just take it off real quick? <laughs> well, the top notes of a fragrance, they come off pretty quick. But what you need to like are the middle notes and the crust the bottom notes and I like this it is a heavier scent I don't know if I would wear that in just the thick of summer during the day you know but like tonight I got invited out with some girls I don't know if I'm going to make it or not but that's something I would wear out on like a summer night because it's got a I don't know it's just it's not heavy heavy like cloying it's just got more body to it I really like it so I don't know, I think I am probably gonna order that, but I don't know, I'm not in a hurry to because I've got that. And then the last one is wood sage and sea salt. This is called woody sage, and the notes in the dossier are fig tree and grapefruit. Middle notes, marine notes, which stay tuned for a big epiphany I learned on aquatic fragrances and marine notes and ozonic notes and stuff like that. Okay. Top notes, fig tree and grapefruit. Middle notes, marine notes, ambrette. Base notes, clary sage and amberwood, inspired by wood sage and sea salt. Concentration, 18%. Beautiful, beautiful. These were probably the most just alike of any of them that I smelled. And it might be because it's more of a Yeah, I'm losing my I'm losing my smell. To me, they smell just alike. And they were so close when I tried them, I could barely tell the difference. And certainly one was no better than the other. Now here's something I realized. I want more than that. So what I'm gonna do, I just ordered a really good vanilla that is known to be good to mix with things like this. I like wood sage and sea salt, but this isn't pretty to me. This doesn't, I don't feel like this represents who I am or my personality. I feel like it needs something else. It needs vanilla. It needs 
some type of floral. It needs something else. And that's something I never thought about before. So I think that that is a good way if you ever wanted to try that, it would be another good way to try it. So all of them are different prices. I will leave all of the links down below so that you can look those up. And they're just very high quality. I was pretty impressed. Okay, so I've got some other fragrances here that I ordered from Walmart. And I want to stress how good Walmart is at their delivery. I get my fragrances that I order from Walmart just as quick as from anywhere else that you could order online. I've really been impressed. So what I ordered are a few things that I saw in different fragrance videos that are either cheaper than I could get them at another retail store and or things that are that maybe came out in 2017 or 2018 that aren't sold on the website anymore and you guys know that the stores only carry like what's right now and I one of them I'm going to save the best to last the first ones I want to tell you about are the juicy coutures these two are supposed to be the best of the juicy couture line this is the noir version which is supposed to have more of the deeper notes and last longer and then this is the juicy couture gold i have not worn these yet i'll be honest these are more of a cooler weather scent to me i just got them because i saw them on the website and i wanted to be able to tell you guys about them and then i like having things to reference to too so let me I have tried them I just haven't worn them oh my gosh okay this one just they're so good this just smells more gourmand than I remember this one I could wear definitely in the summer at night it's just not it's not fresh but it's very sexy sexy in a when I say sexy I'm not meaning seductive red lipstick, black dress, you know, date night. I'm meaning sexy as in daytime sundress sexy. And I think that's what this is. So I am real happy with this. And then this one, I think Jeremy Fragrance that does, um, he's a big fragrance reviewer here. He always does videos on the sexiest scents for women. I think this was, I think both of these were on that list. Okay, this one, this one is lighter than the gold. It's a little bit fruitier. So both of these I think would be great purchases, but let's go on to my favorites here. This one is a Kathleen Lights inspired purchase. In her videos, which her fragrance videos are some of my favorites. It's just like makeup or anything. You have some reviewers that give you the nitty gritty. They give you the ounces and the the, you know, the background of the perfumer and just all of this stuff. And then some people just tell you about the vibe that they give and what they think of wearing and where they were and why they love it. And so I enjoy all of those. This is one of Kathleen's favorite scents forever, one of her signature scents. And it is, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Chiruti 1881? Let's see if I can smell it here. I remember liking it right off the bat. And it is very unique. Oh my goodness. Okay, if I can find the notes, I'll put it up here. But it's not really heavy, but I'm just going to go ahead and say right now, I am getting to the point where I can't smell anything anymore. So I'm going to have a hard time describing those to you. And this I got at the actual store. I heard this was a really good Juicy Couture fragrance. I think they still sell this everywhere, but... It's, this is one you could put on like after the shower. You know what I mean? It's not as intense as these. This is more of a light, fruitier fragrance. This is more like an Escada fragrance to me. It's not as impressive. I probably won't keep that. And then this. So many reviewers and people talk about how this was their signature scent. It is the Stella McCartney. And this is the, I think it's called Pink Dot. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to smell anything. It, do, it definitely is not a gourmand. 
It smells fresher, but like I said, I'm getting to the point where I can't smell anything, but this is well known in the fragrance community as one of the a really good oldie but goodie. And then my very favorite I just got yesterday. And I'm on the thing where Walmart sends me a text when they deliver something, so I couldn't wait to get home and smell this. This is one of my favorite, favorite fragrance lines. And the original Ellie Saab I had in that box that John found in the garage. And so that was one of the ones that I was gonna have to purchase again. This is the Ellie Saab Resort Collection. And I believe, I'll put the exact link below because there's another one that's blue but I had been told that this one was the one to get. Ellie Saab, Main Accords, White Floral, Citrus Floral, Woody, Tropical, Fruity, Sweet, Fresh, Spicy, Lactonic. Lactonic gives it a creamy. That just means it's gonna be a, have a creaminess to it. Le Parfum Resort Collection from 2017 by Ellie Saab is a floral, fruity fragrance for women. Launched in 2017, the nose behind this is Francis Kirkjohn. Top notes are frangipani and Italian mandarin. Middle notes are pomegranate, orange blossom, and jasmine sambac. Base notes are Indonesian patchouli leaf. So this has frangipani in it, which I love. Beautiful. Don't rub your arms together, but you can touch them. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have to get this. You have to. And these fragrances last. Now, I'm not talking, you know you're gonna smell them on your arm tomorrow. You might, I haven't worn this all day. I'm just putting it on today for the first time. But I know that my original Ellie Saab is one that I can smell all day. And if someone is within two to three feet around me, can smell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I don't normally, I usually put on one or two sprays, but some people put on 20 to 30 sprays. Get it, just get it. Any of the Ellie Saab, I have the um, Girl of Now Shine is beautiful. Any of these are so good. So I'm gonna end it here on a wonderful note. I think all in all, it was a great experience. Thank you to Walmart for allowing me to do this and working with me. And I really feel good about any of these fragrances. Even if you were to get the one I don't like the most, you may love it, and that's the beauty of okay, it. So the dress I have on today should be very familiar. It's one of the Sofia Vergara dresses that I got. I think the first one I got in the pastel. I got the black one. I got this one, and you'll probably see some more, but I love them. To me, this is a, a me dress all the way. I love the length of it. I love the shape. I love that I can wash it and dry it. I love that it's kind of ribbed. So, love it, love it. And then these are some shoes from a few years ago. They're Louboutins, and I love these too. I'm so glad that the whole platform thing is back in. And then the jewelry I have on is all jewelry from my parents, all like vintage jewelry that they have given me and my normal watch and my makeup. Most of my makeup, I will link below, is also found you can buy from Walmart. Especially, I wanted to tell you about this lip and eyeshadow and everything. So check the links below and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.